I welcome the Lord's view and Tarot too. I'm really glad you're here. Today's date is Tuesday, February 28th, 2023. We'll talk a little quietly because somebody's taking a nap in the background. The other one's wandering around thinking about getting in trouble. So who knows? <laughs> this may be video interrupt us. We'll find out <laughs> as we go along. <laughs> Okay, well, today I wanted to take a quick look at a Pennsylvania senator who's having apparently some sort of health problems, John Fetterman. Let me share a um, picture of the gentleman. Um, not all that current, but it was once he stopped trying to hide whatever this is on his neck with a, uh, uh, <laughs> a gator. So... I've got, uh, I will have a face, a link to this Facebook post. There's a compilation here. It's not comprehensive. Let me explain the three things I've included today. Okay, Megan Kelly in this uh, realclearpolitics.com talks about how, number one, we're not getting accurate information on whatever the reason for the hospitalization is for Senator Fennerman. And a couple of Twitter posts. One is very excellent. Uh, apparently in Pennsylvania, they are asking for proof of um, his fitness to continue in office or his resignation, if not. So good for the good people of Pennsylvania. Okay. And then here was one just speculating. And I'll stop the share there. But again, you can use the Facebook link and follow to that one. Because apparently... Um, we are being told that Senator Fetterman um, is being hospitalized for clinical depression. And you would think that he would want his family close, that that would be part of the healing journey. He um, would be having his family close and his wife has taken their children to Canada. Supposedly on a ski vacation. I don't know, it's not spring break yet. Something's going on there. Something, okay. Well, I had someone ask me, can we just simply ask if the rumor that's circulating, that it's possible that uh, um, Senator Fetterman is brain dead or unable to resume office is true. And I thought it was worth asking. He's in the public eye. It's not a violation of his privacy to ask that. And it would behoove he and his campaign to be honest about his health situation. I did have to kind of smile. You know, they've never come up with a clone for Comey because he was six foot six or six foot eight. <laughs> and um, John Fetterman, to put it mildly, has an unusual <laughs> appearance also. He's, uh, you know, kind of out of proportion and very tall, and he's got that thing going on with his neck. So uh, I noticed that the uh, people that they do successfully make clones of seem to be kind of moderate in height, weight, all sorts of things like that. Um, those who are far outside the norm by several standard deviations, they don't seem to have come up with a, uh, a means of uh, doing doubles and what have you. They might just only have CGI options. But anyway, during the campaign for his uh, seat as a senator, his health, because he acknowledges having a stroke, was um, brought up and dismissed, not by most of the public, but by his campaign managers and the Democratic um, machine, and you know their henchmen, the mainstream media. And even though he was barely unable to able to speak coherently, then people were shamed into, oh, he's recovering, it's aphasia. We need to have compassion. It doesn't mean his mental faculties are there are impacted. And now he's being, now that he's over the finish line, thanks to shenanigans, I would almost, I bet, <laughs> a good part of my savings account on. Uh, shenanigans got him into office, but his health is impacting his ability to even appear to be functional. So let's see what the cards have to say. Uh, just a simple question of, is the uh, um, alt media chatter that Senator Fetterman is no longer fit for office and possibly even brain dead, true. And is there other information the universe wants us to know? 
Okay, universe, what do you want us to know about the uh, physical and mental um, state of Senator Fetterman, whose wife and children are off enjoying a vacation or something outside our uh, nation's borders? Is he fit for office? Mentally and physically, and is there other information you want us to know? Okay, we have the Five of Swords, the Moon, Ten of Pentacles, Page of Wands, the Hanged Man, Four of Pentacles, Magician. Okay, here's what the cards are telling me, and then I'll explain what elements in those cards led me to that conclusion. Um, Senator Fetterman is not going to be able to return to office. He is probably brain dead, okay? And um, they're trying like crazy to uh, spin this and delay any kind of announcement to that effect. Um, they're marshalling their resources. They're uh, trying to find workarounds like they have with other notables. But again, you know, they're limited because he is going to be hard to do a body double for. So there'll be limit or clone. They're going to be limited to uh, CGI for the most part. Okay, let's take a look at why I said that, okay? With the uh, five of swords kind of indicating the situation, Okay, that tells me he's still alive, but not as fully as he was, especially with the moon card. That's why I'm saying the brain dead um, or severely impacted mental capacity is definitely going on here. And I'm not getting a sense that it's the clinical depression that is hampering him. I think it was more general health related, maybe another stroke or something like that. Okay, now in the past, they were celebrating. They got him into office with shenanigans. He even has his own weird fan club and uh, happy times for him, okay? <laughs> Current situation, we have the, the page of wands showing up and the page is one of discovery, okay? So they we're in the process of discovering what his current status is, okay? And the white hats want that to happen. Okay, looking ahead, we have the hanged man. That may be, and the hanged man is always about inspiration, those aha moments, and looking at things in a new way. And it's possible if his health situation is truly fully disclosed, we're going to be looking at a uh, special election and a mix up in the uh, uh, status quo in the Senate. Okay, but they are. Uh, being careful and trying to keep that from happening. They're hoping to manifest a continuation of him um, able to stay in office and at some point return to duty. They're hoping for that. But again, we got the discovery card here showing up for the present. So people keep asking questions, keep digging, asking for proof of life is quite reasonable. We have the Empress showing up here for again, looking towards the future and the Ace of Wands, okay? landing as it did on top of the situation cards and things like that. I'm saying that uh, um, the truth is going to be revealed, you know, that yes, he is, his, he's impacted. He's not going to be able to come back to work. And uh, the truth will come out if we keep digging and asking. Now, if we just go into, oh, well, everything's corrupt and there's not much we can do about it mode, they may be able to pull it off. Let's make sure they can't. You know, this is one of those tarot reads where I would almost welcome being wrong because I wouldn't wish that kind of a um, health scenario on anybody, anybody. As much as I want honesty and disclosures and let's really deal with the situation, whatever it may be, um, I wouldn't wish this on Mr. Fetterman or anybody to uh, have a card read that comes up like this. So let's recap. We asked if the alt media um, chatter was true, that Senator Fetterman is no longer 
fit to be an office, possibly even brain dead. And it wasn't at the start, of the, but towards the end, we did get a yes with the Ace of Wands. We also got the Moon card, which is never well aspected, which uh, led me to believe that uh, he, he, the brain dead part may actually be a very accurate way to consider his status right now. So we'll know if they keep uh, avoiding having him, you know, appear and uh, proof of life type of thing. And the good people of Pennsylvania need to keep asking for that proof, need to stay on it. And if a special election is needed, let's have it. In the meantime, um, for he and his family, it's a difficult time no matter what the situation is with them. And um, I don't wish them any kind of ill, even though, like I said, I think he's in office because of shenanigans and not because of true balloting results, um, you know. The fact is the man's got health concerns that are huge and issues and I have a heart for that, okay? But now's the time to be honest about it so that people can support whatever the status quo is and move on. That's it for this video. Thank you so much for your time. I appreciate it so much. And for those of you that have been so generous, overnight I couldn't believe the buy me a coffee response I had. And again, I will be using that buy me a coffee <laughs> for gas on the move, which happens in 48 hours, 72 at the most. Uh, anyway, thank you so much. Please don't do it if you can't afford to, okay? Please don't. But if you can't, it's appreciated. It will be used just exactly the way I'm telling you it will be used, okay? So until next time, good, sweet people, I send you my love and I wish for you light and joy and all things bright, okay? It's a complicated world, but we need to look to the light and help it to be magnified and push back the dark and get our world where it needs to be, where it should have already been. Bye.